Hello guys and welcome to Drawing with Clifford. This is Year 8 Natural Forms where we're going to be doing a pastiche in tone of George O'Keefe's Oriental Poppies. Now as you can see here, we're starting off with a A5 piece of paper, a sharpener, a pencil and a rubber. That's all you need for today's thing. No paint, nothing fancy. Oh, and the picture. You can see here, just make sure my picture is nice and clear. So, ready to start. What we're going to do first, we're going to split the picture in half and you can see it's a nice big curved line here separating two poppies. Now, it's not directly in the middle, so you're going to start from a quarter at the bottom and then half the top. So I'll start from one quarter there, draw it with a nice big curve, and then bang, nice starting point. So I'm going to do three petals. That's two on the right and one on the left. So looking at my picture and doing using loose light lines, I'm just going to do a nice little impression of the petals. See here, I need to sharpen my pen so it's a bit blunt. Now I've already noticed I've made a few mistakes, so the great thing about this is I can refine it. So drawing over the top of my light image, I'm just gonna make a few little changes before I rub anything out or change it. So, so once that's done, I'm gonna draw the big circle shape in the middle, knitting up one of my petals. And now from that big circle shape, I'm gonna create the other dark circular kind of obscure polygon like shapes around the edge so as I can see here there's only four some of you might be in my class has heard me refine it uh, described as a turtle it's a bit weird of a looking tail but hey I made a few mistakes so not the end of the world using my rubber just move it around a bit that's the great thing if you make a mistake change it fix it that's a very if you mess up your basic shape you'll mess up your tonal image so fix it first. Now once I've done that, I'm just gonna build up the um, orange and red petals around the side and just create a nice impression. So don't make them up, look at the picture. If it goes off the page like mine do, let them go off. I'm just gonna go around the shape and work from the, the obscure circular shape in the middle. Join those on lightly and bang. So just check my picture and now we're going to the other side. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna kind of fix this middle shape because it actually has a bit of a, you know, a thickness to it. So, I'm gonna build up that petal there and actually connect it slowly to that petal at the top. I said, if it's in the picture, I need to draw it. So, I'm gonna stare at my picture and just use my loose light lines, draw the weird kind of bent, bendy petals. So once I've got that, I'm going to do another circular shape that kind of merges into the petal on the uh, right hand side. And this time I'm going to draw my black shapes exactly how I see them on the left side of my picture. And as I said, told you before, always look at your original. Don't make it up. Once I've got that, I just remember there's this nice big uh, dark crease around here, so I'm just going to draw that on. That's it. Mine's just a little bit larger than the original picture, so it's going to have to go off the page. And like the picture before, I'm just going to build up my petals. It's on, it's honestly just the same step as the one before. I've just drawn those two creases on because they'll become helpful use later when I put my tone on. And there's my basic shape. Now. Get a bit annoyed because I think I've made a few mistakes. So rather than just rubbing it all out and starting again, I'm actually just gonna build up my tone and tone will fix everything. So I'm just building up a few experimentations on the back of the page, showing my dark, my light, and showing I can create a nice tonal range at the back. So using different pressures, create light and dark. Just build a nice little grid. So for me, slowly letting go of the pressure and showing I can also smudge it. Remember, you can also use your rubber to create light tone. So, back to the picture. Now, I don't normally do this, but I'm gonna, there's two variations of really dark tone in the middle. So I'm gonna do my light tone first. I say my light tone, my lightest dark tone for the middle. I'm looking at the picture, I'm just gonna build those up first. Now, to make it darker, you build up layers and you do smaller lines. So these will just be a little bit, the lines on this one will be a little bit longer less pressure now these ones I'm putting so much pressure I'm putting all my weight on it just to make it really really dark 
all my lines are close together and I'm going to layer them over the top. Don't be scared to go back over your dark tones from before, Just keep building them up. Now this does take some time, so be ready to cut sharp your pencil over and over again and keep building up that dark tone. Trust me, you'll be grateful for this later when you have to build up tone in your petals, because remember, we're only working with grey and white. So, really dark tones. All that pressure, everything that looks really dark and there's no light able to get to it, put that pressure down. So, as I told you, this part will take some time. Can I just remind you, please don't do what I've done on this one. Um, put maybe a, a separate piece of paper down or a tray. Um, once I took my picture off, after fi finished filming this, I realised I pushed so many marks onto the table that my wife wasn't too happy. So, with advice for the future, make sure you put something down before you put all these dark tones. So I'm putting on a lot of pressure. My lines are really tiny and I'm layering them over top of each other. So, just to blend this one in, I'm just gonna keep building up those different layers. Once I've got that, I'm just gonna try and get rid of all these little circles and I'm gonna smudge it in. And with my smudge in, I make sure I've got a nice clean finger with no moisture. I'm just gonna layer those over top just so they feel a bit more smoother. You wanna kind of hide all your original pencil marks. So now for these petals, I'm gonna start with my dark tone first, very lightly, and slowly let go of the pencil to blend it in and make sure I'm leaving loads of white space for the light reflection of the petal. I recommend do one petal at a time. So don't rush this. So, tiny little marks with dark tones. I had to lighten them up, expand your pencil, and put a lot less pressure. I mean, I've realized I've made a mistake there. Put a bit of dark tone where it should be light tone, so just use your rubber. If you do make this too dark, remember you can use your rubber to record some light tone, as in like using a white pencil. If you want to as well, if you're struggling with the blending, as I've just done, you'll use your finger to blend. Now you might even notice that, oh my petals are looking a bit too dark here, but I can't make it any lighter. You might need to make your darker sections, like the center, a bit darker even darker than it was before, so putting more pressure like I'm doing here. There's no shame if you miss something and going back to refine it. You don't have to feel like one petal's done, you can always go back and forth. Refinement is key, remember. Now as you can slowly see, my picture's starting to look a little bit more figurative. A little bit more sustain, I'm just going to build up bit by bit. So, starting with your dark tones very gently, blend them out into the white. I do recommend starting from the lines you've drawn from before. One big trick is to try eradicating, that means hide all the original basic shape lines you had before. A 3D object does not technically have big bold lines around it, so the idea is they're just guiding you where your tone will go later on. So make sure it looks 3D and sustained and with a good tonal range is to show that you don't have to rely on those big dark lines anymore. As you can see, the more tone I put on, those lines disappear. And the only thing that's left in its way is a variation between light and dark, creating a contrast between the object and the background, where the light can't get to. See here, I'm just using a little bit of smudging just to help. Say, so you're more welcome to do so. Now, just using my rubber there, 
because I feel like I made it a bit too dark. Because remember, I want the petal not to look as dark as the middle bit. Just slowly blend it out. Just remind you, try using a clean finger and make sure you don't, if you do wash your hands, make sure they're completely dry. There's nothing worse than getting a bit of water on your pencil drawing that can completely ruin it. Remember, take your time. We don't want to see anything rushed and ruined. We want to see you take your time and create an absolutely lovely sustained drawing. So this video is starting to take longer than I thought it would. Um, normally I'd spend a hell of a lot more time on something like this, especially a sustained natural form. So I'm just going to add a little bit more blending, um, darken up the background here. Yeah, I'm pretty, pretty happy with this. This side's looking very good for what it is. So let's set, compare it to the original one. See what it looks like. Yeah, pretty good. Mine's a bit bigger, but that's what it is. Good thing working. Now, I was gonna do the whole thing, but I wanna, the left side, exactly the same. Not a problem. Do exactly what you did on that side, to the left, and bang. It looked absolutely fantastic. So, I wish you all the luck, and hope you enjoy this. Thanks for watching, bye.